I'm pretty sure I have a whole sandwich in my teeth right now. Mm -hmm. All right, this is my very first time trying these on outside, not in the house. I've barely skated in them. Like I really haven't skated in them. I just tried them on the first time to see if the toe stops were too long and they were. So as I said in my previous video, they've been shaved down. Oh, I am so nervous. They feel, of course, very different from the Moxies. Thank goodness I'm used to stiffer skates from when I was younger, but I'm not used to them recently. So we're gonna see how this goes. New wheels too, I've never used the roller bone. Okay, so right away I knew something was off. Um, my toes were pulling in towards each other and I seriously just like could not skate. And it turns out that one of the issues was that the plates were just really, really loose. Luckily after this skate session, my partner helped me tighten the roll line plates and they tighten a little bit differently than a lot of other plates. And I will go ahead and show that later on in this video, but it was really intimidating at first. This is the second time trying out the Harlicks. I'm feeling a little bit amateur about this. They are way harder to skate in than the Moxies for me. And I'm hoping that, that is just because they haven't been adjusted yet and it's not something to do with the plate or just like how horrible I am. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time for me to break these in and I already planned on that so I'm totally good with it. It's actually been quite the process trying to get these set up and ready. Um, the first time I tried to order the plate they were supposed to have ordered it and then they didn't. They were a month late on ordering it and that wasn't Harlick, it was a different skate shop. And then they finally got the plate and they mounted it and then they sent it to me without the toe stops, which was fine. I was looking online to just try to buy some, but I think the roll line plate is supposed to come with the toe stops. And so thankfully the skate shop did end up sending me them and I was able to get them put on, but then we had to shave them down and they may even need to be shaved down a little bit more. So I just kind of say this for anyone out there that has gotten skates and they feel like one thing after another kind of keeps happening with them. We don't always get things in perfect ready to go skateness. I think that just applies to so many things in life in general. You have obstacles and you just kind of keep going and you learn as you go. That's definitely how I feel with these Harlicks. It's just been kind of a little bit of a learning process, getting to know the plate a little bit more and how I want the toe stop. I'm here with one of my youngest biscuits, my other little roller skater in the family. Koya hasn't been into roller skating as much lately. She's been enjoying skateboarding and I'm all for it. I don't really care and I'm not gonna push my personal like preferences on her. She's her own person and actually films for me a lot of the times and is a huge help and I'm just grateful for it. But this one right here loves to roller skate with me. And I'm so glad I have a little buddy that goes and skates and scooters with me and loves being active. I've just been working on tightening them a little bit at a time and it just seems to really be helping even though I'm still pretty uncomfortable on them. It's definitely gonna take me some time to get used to the plate. I wanna show you really quick how I adjust my roll line plates. My partner gave me this tool and it works really good. Just clicks on there and I can, I don't know if you noticed the click there, but that adjusts them. They don't move like fluidly, they click. The roll line plate also has a shorter wheelbase than the plates that come on the Moxie lollies. So it's taking some time to get used to that. I'm used to this, the wheels being a little bit further up and under my foot here. And so in these skates, I almost feel like I'm gonna fall forward. I just haven't adjusted to these plates quite yet. And since I need to get used to the plates as well as break in the boot, I decided to get some Adam Pulse outdoor wheels so that I could try them out and compare them to the Moxie gummy outdoor wheels that I have. So I'll be doing a video on that coming up here soon as well as my thoughts on these Adam Pulse outdoor wheels. Going forward from here, I'm just gonna be hitting the trails. That's why I got the outdoor wheels. It'll help me break in the skates. That's it for this video. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.